Hello everybody, and welcome back to another day in the journey. Today we're just going to discuss things that started happening Friday, straight through the weekend till today, and maybe discuss a couple things that uh, might be going on later. But we're going to start off on Friday, because I know several of you are wondering what happened at the coin shop. Well, they were actually open this time. I went in and had a conversation to find out, you know, if everybody was okay, being that they were closed on Friday. And it turns out there was a medical uh, issue, um, but everything's okay now. Um, but they did have to close up early to go deal with that. But I did talk to them, and uh, they are okay with me putting their name out there. They're okay with people contacting them. And, uh, you know, we'll see about maybe in the future getting some photos and, um, and some video inside. I did slightly bring that up, and uh, they didn't tell me no. So, <laughs> but, uh, you know, we're going to you know try and build that uh, relationship a little bit better before we do that. <clears throat> but uh, the shop is called Silver Eagle Coins and Collectibles. This is their card. They do have a website. Um, pretty much on their website will give you basic information about them. And you can also buy some, some more of the more rare car or coins, I'm sorry, that they do collect or carry. Um, they don't uh, have the bullion and things like that on their website. And uh, they generally don't do that kind of thing over internet sales. But um, I did talk to them about it, and it is possible to get them to do some shipping. And so um, the details on that. Well, they have tried to do things like that for people in the past. And it didn't turn out too well for them. They did get burned on a few things. And so they are, you know, understandably, you know, not really interested in doing too many things over the phone in terms of payments. But they will accept uh, things like certified check or bank transfers, and they will ship things out. Um, like I said, on their website, they do have some more of the higher end rare coins. But uh, this coming Friday, I'll see about getting some pictures of some of the other things they carry. They do have gold. They have massive amounts of silver. Um, they've got a lot of rare coins and other collectibles as well. Um, so yeah, I will definitely get y'all some, some images and possibly, I'm not promising, but possibly a little bit of footage um, of some of the things that they do have. But uh, they are located in, I don't know if I already said it, but uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia. Um, they are open on, I think it's every day except for Monday and Sunday. So uh, you, you're more than welcome, like I said, to give them a call. The phone number, all their info is right here on this card yet again. And uh, if you want to discuss with them possible um, ordering or anything like that, um, like I said, I'll get y'all some, some imagery of some of the things that they have. But yeah, absolutely reach out to them if it's something that you're interested in. Um, they will get things shipped out. Uh, you just have to work out uh, payment information and things with them. Um, I know they even had somebody one time send them a money order that turned out to be counterfeit. So I think possibly it's going to have to be somewhere around like maybe a wire transfer or... Um, a certified check, um, something that they can, you know, guarantee is going to clear, and uh, y'all can get something worked out if that's what you want to do. They still had a very large inventory um, compared to other places that I've seen. Um, I don't know. They at the time when I went on a Friday, just their their or display case. I'm sorry, with their generic rounds, probably had. I'd imagine there was a better part of 800 to 1,000 rounds in that case alone. And right beside that was full of many different sizes of bars. I saw 1-ounce bars, 10-ounce bars, 5-ounce bars. Um, I've seen things as large as kilo bars, and they had a large amount of them. So they have quite the selection. Um, like I said, I'll get you some more info uh, via pictures and whatnot on Friday for that. We'll get that posted up. But, uh, yeah, so those of you that were interested, um, there you go. They are there if you are interested in any kind of dealings with them. And, uh, you know, if you do, let them know that uh, that you found out about them from me. I do not get any kickbacks. We don't have anything worked out. I just uh, wanted to let them know that, um, you know, we are sharing the love around the community. Now, when it comes to what else I did on Friday, um, that is the only shop that I went to. Um, after that, I just went home to spend time with the family. But while I was there, I did pick up a little bit, not too terribly much but I did pick up a couple dollars face of Constitutional. And that is here. Some more dimes and just a little bit more quarters. Um, 
these ones were 21 face so uh, again you know it's a limited budget I like to pick especially on this particular week because of it being uh, car payment week of course um, so yeah I did pick up a couple dollars face um, so you know it's a little over forty dollars and then on Saturday um, I went to my closest LCS as I generally do every Saturday morning even if it is just to go and say hello um, I, I still want to try and pick up something so I did pick up another dollar face from him and he gave it to me again at 20 times face so that gave me altogether three dollars face which is you know just slightly over sixty dollars for my spending for the week which is actually more than I really wanted to spend for the week but in turn what that did was for my quarters this put me from two dollars and fifty cent to three dollars and fifty cent for quarters so we are now a little over a quarter of the way for that guy We're still at seven dollars on the half dollars and on the dimes I had two dollars and ten cent we're gonna add another two dollars so 90 more cent we will have a full tube of the dimes so that's awesome so I will definitely 100% be getting that one finished off on Friday and with luck I'll also get the half dollars finished on Friday and we'll put another dent in some of the quarters maybe so we're gonna see how that goes so the constitutional is still continuing to build um, these tubes are almost full if things go my way the dimes half dollars will be full on Friday and we'll get this guy hopefully to around halfway so that's the progress on those um, other than that the weekend was uh, pretty pretty relaxing um, I did go over to my son's house on Saturday afternoon and what was going on there was the gender reveal for my first grandchild now keep in mind I'm only 44 so I do consider myself to be a little bit on the old side but I guess that's because I do realize that I, my first grandchild's on the way but I'm only 44. My son's not quite 21. He'll be 21 next month. And it comes to find out that their grandchild, or my grandchild, is going to be a little girl. So it's exciting. Uh, my first grandbaby is going to be a granddaughter. And I know a lot of y'all saw my community post about it. But, uh, you know, she pops out, and as she gets a little bit older, we can. Uh, I'm probably going to nickname her Little Journey and see if we can get her into this as she grows as well. Um, I've got to go out and check with some of my coin shops that are local to me because I do want to get um, a coin set for her birth year. I want to get one of those every year for her birthday and some silver every, every birthday as well. And I want to try and keep that up throughout the rest of my life and hopefully she'll continue it on after I'm gone. But uh, yeah, so it was quite an exciting weekend over there. Um, you know, everybody was quite happy, everybody had a great time, and uh, the excitement's going to continue, especially as her, uh, her birth is nearing, and she will be here this summer. Alright, so after that, uh, another quick thing about Friday. Um, I did go and uh, check on a few different banks that I deal with, um, as I've said in some of my shorts uh, throughout the, uh, the, the day yesterday. Um, I've got the other video up for that, so y'all can go check that out and get the information that you might be interested in for there. Um, my mail call, um, that sh video should be up by now. Um, and I wanna thank uh, you know everybody for reaching out and sending things, the stickers are wonderful. Um, you know, from Prepper Jack and Flatline. And then of course, um, I don't have it handy all of a sudden, but uh, you reach over here. And the wonderful arrival of the channel sticker. That I am absolutely in love with but uh, yeah that was my weekend and uh, yesterday of course you know did my work and that was it it was pretty slow yesterday other than going by the banks so there you go that's my wrap up for that week uh, for that weekend I'm sorry um, I'm getting ready to go ahead and do the filming for the 250 sub giveaway and I'll have that up in a little, in a little bit um, but I do want to uh, say thank you all for coming by checking out my weekend wrap, wrap up thank you for sharing uh, sharing your time with me and coming along on this wonderful thing that I call my silver journey it's been a wonderful pleasure to have you all here to keep you all a part of this and for you all to keep me a part of this community as always I thank you all for coming along I thank you all for sharing in my journey and please continue to follow along in my silver journey 
We'll see you next time.